Japan supports refugees in Iran. The government of Japan has donated 875,000 US dollars to the World Food Program (WFP) to assist vulnerable refugees in Iran through the purchase of wheat flour, oil, and pulses. In March of last year, Japan already granted 7 million US dollars to the organization to strengthen COVID-19 relief efforts in the nation. WFP is presently providing food, livelihood, and education aid to 31,000 Afghan and Iraqi refugees across 20 settlements in Iran. For over three decades, the country has hosted one of the largest refugee populations worldwide. Japan is a shining world leadership awards for compassion, generosity, and animal protection laureate. Our heartfelt gratitude, Japan, Iran, and WFP, for your life-saving assistance. May all vulnerable people be graced with peace and comfort in heaven's mercy. New planetary system discovered. Three Earth-sized planets have been detected on a trajectory around a young star named TOI 451, approximately 400 light years away in the Eridanus constellation. The tests are transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite Project from the United States National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA, has discovered that the star is considerably younger and 12% smaller in size compared to our own Sun. It has 95% of our Sun's mass and radiates two-thirds the energy. The three hot exoplanets have a temperature scope of 450 degrees to 1,200 degrees Celsius, orbiting much closer to their sun than Mercury's distance to our own central star. Scientists hope that their findings could shed light on the origin and evolution of planetary atmospheres. Thank you, NASA, for this fascinating information and celestial wonder. May we always be curious to learn more about our amazing vast universe. Mexico's new cable car system helps disadvantaged community. The country's capital city has introduced the cable car line to facilitate lower-income individuals to reach the closest bus and subway stations, known as the cable bus. The line starts from Coatepec, an area situated in the northern part of Mexico City, and will stretch nearly 9.2 kilometers, providing an alternative to using much slow-moving vans. The new electric-powered public transport system offers a way to avoid traffic, have quicker travel times, and wonderful panoramic views. The mayor of Mexico City, the Honorable Dr. Claudia Sheinbaum, stated, "Having the best transportation for the poorest parts of the city reduces inequality. Awesome work, Mexico City, in improving transport for your citizens." May the loving Mexican people enjoy productive and fulfilling lives in God's care. British scientists discover powerful pollution-absorbing plant. Researchers from the Royal Horticultural Society and the University of Reading in the United Kingdom have identified a plant that excels at soaking up vehicle exhaust pollution from the air. It was revealed that the dense and hairy leaves of the cotton easter franchetti could absorb 20% more air pollution than other kinds of shrubs when placed in a high traffic area. In just seven days, a one-meter cotton easter hedge was able to take in as Much pollution as a car lets out during a more than 800-kilometer ride. Wow, we're so grateful for this purifying miracle plant. Way to go, researchers, on your fascinating study. In the support of the providence, may our planet someday be filled only with fresh air and the loving vibrations from nature. Brave girl rescues her mother from house fire in United States when a fire flared up in their home at night. 11-year-old Paisley Tudor of Turlock, California, United States, could barely see through the smoke. Although she was very frightened, she immediately rushed into her mother, Justin Tudor's room, and yelled out to wake her up. Once they managed to get out of the burning house, Justin courageously hurried back in to save their two puppies. Firefighters extinguished the flames and even retrieved pictures for the family, who are now living in a rental house. Community members have shown their generosity, providing necessities including new clothes and a bike for Paisley. Our gratitude to the firefighters and community members, and bravo, Paisley and Justin Tudor, for your heroic actions. 
Thank God you're safe. May your family be comforted and well on your journey of recovery. Austria based company introduces 3D printed vegan salmon. Vegan food technology startup Revel Foods has debuted the world's first plant based salmon utilizing an innovative 3D printing method. Mimicking the look and texture of seafood, the product called Salmon with Attitude comes in two varieties. Smoked strips and creamy spread. The delicacy consists of only 11 ingredients, including algae extract, pea protein, and dietary fibers. It also boasts of a high protein and omega 3 fatty acids content, but unlike the animal counterpart, is free of heavy metals, antibiotics, and plastic pollution. Revo Foods' goal is to help protect marine life and create a sustainable planet. Congratulations, Revo Foods, on your success and commitment to offering plant based alternatives that save countless marine animal lives. In heaven's delight, may such tasty vegan products reach every home worldwide. Community members help bring canine back to caregiver in the United States. When a two year old German shepherd called Toby got lost during frigid winter weather in Chicago, USA, his caregiver Nellie Rowa enlisted the help of the Chicago Police Department. They shared the information on Twitter and began to search the streets. In addition, various community members offered their support to locate Toby by putting up flyers as well as setting up social media pages and a sightings map. Five days later, Officer Ricky Podgorny saw the canine on a busy street and called Miss Rowa, who was able to get the dog to come to her. Miss Rowa expressed her gratitude for the fellow citizens, caring efforts, and the dedication of the police officers, a warm embrace all involved in bringing Toby to safety. May such acts of kindness continue to be a hallmark of humanity in celestial light.